at the international desk, Donald Trump tweets in defense of his son. A massive iceberg breaks off Antarctica and new evidence in the Amelia Earhart mystery. Welcome, I'm Linda Kincaid. We begin with the White House in damage control after a bombshell from the president's son releasing emails leading up to a meeting with a Russian lawyer. Donald Trump Jr. took to the airways to downplay that meeting that promised damaging information on Hillary Clinton. Trump Jr. said in a Fox News interview he would have done things differently. Our Jason Carroll is following this story at the White House with the fast-moving details. Jason. Uh, Trump has, President Trump hasn't had any sort of a public schedule for several days. How unusual is that? Well, if you talk to this uh, folks within the administration, they'll basically say, look, he didn't get enough downtime after the G20 uh, summoned and needed some of that. But then you also remember then candidate Trump, who was very critical of Hillary Clinton, saying she didn't have the stamina for the job. And so now some are questioning if this president has the stamina for the job. When you look at for the past three days, he hasn't had a public event on his schedule. I mean, you look at really what's been happening lately with this White House. I mean, this latest controversy uh, in, in some respects really has some here in the White House paralyzed. Some are very frustrated over this, that this has dominated the news cycle, especially ahead of his trip to Paris. He leaves tonight. In retrospect, I probably would have done things a little differently. For me, this was opposition research. Donald Trump Jr. confronting the ever-worsening controversy that has his father's administration in full crisis mode. Multiple outlets describing the president's growing exasperation with the Russian revelations and suspicion and finger-pointing between his closest West Wing advisors. The behind-the-scenes turmoil described to the Washington Post as a Category 5 hurricane, a characterization the president's lawyer refutes. This is a category zero. So this idea that this has consumed the White House is false. The White House on the defensive after Trump Jr. released a series of bombshell emails he had in June of last year with music publicist Rob Goldstone about setting up a meeting with a Russian government attorney. Goldstone saying he had a lead on dirt that would incriminate Hillary Clinton, noting this is obviously very high level and sensitive information, but as part of Russia and its government support for Mr. Trump. Trump Jr. replying, if it is what you say, I love it, especially later in the summer. Now, someone sent me an email. I can't help what someone sends me. This is 13 months ago before I think the rest of the world was uh, talking about that, trying to build up this narrative about Russia. So I don't even think my sirens, you know, went up or the antennas went up. The president's son and his attorney insisting President Trump was not aware of the meeting or the emails. It was such a nothing. There was nothing to tell. I mean, I wouldn't have even remembered it until you start scouring through the stuff. The president, by the way, never saw an email, did not see the email until it was seen today. CNN has learned the emails were discovered as Jared Kushner and his legal team were preparing for his upcoming congressional testimony. President Trump has been unusually reserved after months of insisting that the Russia investigations are fake news and a witch hunt. But the president did come to his son's defense Tuesday night, tweeting that he's a great person who loves our country. Hours after the White House deputy press secretary read a statement on the president's behalf. My son is a high, high quality person and I applaud his transparency. Vice President Mike Pence distancing himself from the growing controversy, releasing a statement stressing that the Russia meeting occurred before he joined the Trump ticket. The newly released emails undermining what the White House has been saying for days. It seems to be on the end of the Trump individual. It's a big nothing burger. No information provided that was meaningful. No action taken. Nothing inappropriate happened. There's nothing inappropriate. A number of lawmakers on Capitol Hill disagree. Definitely, he has to testify that email is disturbing. We're now beyond obstruction of justice in terms of what's being investigated. This is moving into perjury, false statements, uh, and even into potentially treason. 
Well, that's pretty provocative language coming from Clinton's former running, late, running mate. It should be noted that uh, legal experts disagree on the implications of what could happen going forward. I also want to point out that one administrative uh, administration official, Linda, basically called this week another week lost in terms of trying to push forward on the president's agenda, the president pushing back on a week being lost, and also defending his son again, where else, on Twitter, tweeting the following this morning, saying, my son Donald did a good job last night. He was open, transparent, and innocent. This is the greatest witch hunt in political history. Sad. In terms of transparency, it should be noted in terms of releasing those emails, remember that uh, Donald Trump Jr. said he put out those emails to be transparent about this, but it should be noted that uh, some of his critics say, look, the only reason why he put out those emails is because the New York Times was going to do it first. Linda? Exactly. Jason Carroll at the White House. Thank you very much.